guys, it's Joel, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool wireless business card. This is a card that can actually zap information directly from your business card into somebody else's phone wirelessly. Um, this is not the little QRC code where you get your camera and you uh, photograph the little black and white squares. Um, QRC is kind of an interesting technology. You can definitely put a QRC sticker on the card if you want to. Um, it's a little bit easier to do it with two NFC wirelessly. Um, this is something that I think will help your conversion rates if you're passing out business cards for your job uh, because the information goes directly into somebody's phone. It's also a lot more green than having a huge stack of cards and giving them out to all these people that, that uh, throw them away or uh, the, the information on them, you know, it changes when you move and then they're, they're not good anymore. Um, <clears throat> so it's a permanent card that you can have forever which is kind of impressive. Uh, every time I give my information out to people or I get our therapists give their information out to people, they think this is kind of cool because there's not a lot of these out there. Um, and what's interesting is that there's companies like Link, um, there's my card, there's a couple of them. They generally charge you about 30 to $50 a month. And some of them had uh, like packages for this that were up in the thousands uh, for certain business features. But what I'm gonna show you to do, how to do this is completely free. You can do this in about five minutes. It's really easy and you don't have to pay a monthly fee. So I got some cards made recently. Um, one of them is this one. It's made out of wood. And then the next one is this one. It's made out of metal. So uh, I got these on Etsy. It costs $20 for about five. Um, considering that you're not giving them away, that you get to keep it forever, that's a pretty good deal. The NFC chip that's inside of the bamboo card is actually able to go through the bamboo. Um, so you can swipe it on either side. The metal will block the NFC. So you have to hold it to the back of your phone with this circle where the sticker is um, available. You don't have to get cards pre-made from Etsy. You can definitely print your own. You can get a stack of 100 NFC cards for about $15, uh, blank plastic cards that you print on or engrave. You can also just buy NFC tags if you want to. Uh, NFC tags are a little piece of paper about the size of a postage stamp with a metal coil and a microchip in it. Um, they're extremely inexpensive. You can get 100 for you know, $10, uh, depending on the kind that you're ordering. Um, NFC is an interesting technology if you use Apple or Google Pay, where you hold your phone against the ATM or the card reader and it pays. That is NFC um, chip. There's also, um, what is it? The, uh, sometimes like Bluetooth speakers have that thing where they're like set your phone here and then it immediately pairs your phone to the Bluetooth without you having to do anything. That's because there's an NFC chip there that is reading and pairing your phone with the uh, speaker. Um, the, if you have an, an, an Apple phone, NFC is turned on automatically by default. So that means that if you hold your card to, uh, on an Apple phone, they have like this big camera module that's a big square. The NFC reader is always under the camera module. So you hold the card there, it's gonna zap the information in. If you have an Android phone, there's a swipe down menu. NFC is not on by default. Um, a lot of people have it on because they use it, but if you want to make sure that it's on, um, Android phones have a swipe down menu. So you, you swipe down from the top. There's these little circles right here, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, um, you know, etc. And you're gonna look for the one that has the little N on it and turn it on. That's this one right here. It says NFC in blue. Once that is on, um, in an Android phone, the NFC reader is not under the camera. It's usually in the middle of the phone on the back. But with these business cards, you take it, you hold it to the back of the phone, and oh my gosh, look, it opens this as soon as it's held to the back. So now my information is in this phone. That means that if I had just shared this information with you, you would have our YouTube, our website, both of my email addresses, our mailing address, my office address. You would have my cell phone number. You would have the make an appointment. Any other information that you want to save, you get to program all of this. It's you know, generally more information than you could actually fit on a paper business card. Um, you know, there's a lot of people whose paper business cards I want to save and I end up losing them. So I'm sure that that happens a lot. Also, if somebody, if you say to somebody, hey, can I give you my business card? And they say, yeah, and you do this, 
That means that your information is in their phone forever. Unless they delete it, they will always have to look at it and they will remember you and the service you provide every time they see it in their phone. They also have all the different ways to get in contact with you. So if you're in sales, uh, if you're in any kind of industry where you're doing a lot of networking, this definitely works a lot better than somebody who just puts it in their suit jacket at the bar and then forgets about it. You also, um, this is also a lot more green friendly because you know, I'm not giving these away. Um, I'm not printing a huge stack of paper that changes as soon as my information changes and then I have to get rid of it to change my phone number or my address. Um, these last forever. Um, I've had them for about a year. And so I'm gonna jump into how you do this. I got these cards from Etsy, but like I said, you can buy an NFC sticker. You can stick it to the back of an existing card. You can buy a card with one already in there. They're not very expensive. That is the only expense. You don't have to pay for software. You don't have to pay for services after that. Um, so there's a lot of companies that will charge you um, to have an NFC business card where you scan it and then it goes to this website where you get to keep all your information programmed in there. A lot of those are really expensive. This is free. Um, there's a website that is called vcard, vcard.link. And that's what you saw as that splash page when I put this in there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna program the NFC card that is in here to go to a website, and that website is gonna have your vCard on it. Um, a vCard is the contact information thing that Apple iPhones take. It's one of the file formats for um, contact information. So uh, there's an app that you're gonna get in order to do that. You can do it with almost any app. I use NFC Reader on Android, but you can use uh, any app. There's a lot of NFC uh, cards the card reading apps that you can get on Android or iOS. What you do is you go to the vcard.link website, you enter in all your information as you want it to appear, and it's gonna give you a link, an HTML link that you copy, and there's not enough information to save your entire vcard on to the NFC chip in here because they don't hold very much information. But there is enough storage space on these to hold a link to a website. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your reader thing, you're gonna say, you're gonna download an app, it's gonna say, do you wanna program the card or do you want to read one? And you say, no, I wanna write. I wanna write this HTML link to a card. And then the app will say, hold the card that you wanna write that to to the back of the phone. You hold the card to the back of the phone and boom, you've just programmed your NFC card. It really is that easy. I'll link to the app that I use, but there's plenty of others. Again, you're just gonna say, I want to write. And what I want to write is a link. And this is the link that I want to write. You copy and paste from that vcard.link where you stored your card, what your HTML link is, into the app. And then you say, I want to write to the back of a card. It'll say, hold the card to the back of your phone. You hold it in, boom. You've just programmed your NFC card to have a link on it that goes to your contact information. So anytime you hold that to the back of a phone or any NFC capable device, it's going to immediately import that vcard into the person's contacts they're gonna have your information forever and all of your information, more than you could print on a business card, which is pretty cool. Um, so there's some other things that you can do with this if you wanna get more fancy. I'm a therapist, we have an office with therapists, and so it's very important to me that all of my patients have my information in the first session because I want them to be able to call my cell phone if there's an emergency. I want them to be able to have the link to the scheduling portal if they wanna cancel or reschedule an appointment. I want them to have a link to our policies. And so in the first session, like I can just say, hey man, can I see your phone? Uh, boom, now you have my information, please call me if you need anything, uh, and there you go. So I don't really have to do anything too fancy other than give out my information. Um, but what you can do is instead of using that vcard.link, if you have a custom website, if you're a business that does like sales, networking, um, kind of social media marketing growth, you wanna see what your employees are actually doing, just go ahead and make a page on your website that is only accessible through a link, and have your IT people, or if you program your own website, just write a page on your website that has the contact information of every employee and then program that link to be the one on the card. And then what you can do is you can see how much are these people actually giving out the information. You have a little bit of analytical data because you're saying, okay, yeah, this person must have given out their card to a lot of people digitally because I'm getting 100 hits to this. So this sales networking person is actually kind of doing their job. They're not just driving up the expenses and the bar tab, whatever, but they're not actually networking. And you can also see how many people you gave your information to later said, oh, okay, I want to go back and, and get that and, and use it. Uh, and you can, you can program into that website if you want to do that and see how many people are, are being looked at by other people in your company. Um, 
And that's not something that I need for my job. I'm a private practice therapist, so I don't need that, but it is something that's an option. So these are pretty cool. Um, I've seen some people that pay for the link cards, which are kind of expensive. I've also seen people that have the little QRC code that you get your camera and you photograph and it takes you to a website. If you want to have that too, then just go ahead and print out that little QRC code on a sticker and then stick it to the card. And then if people want to photograph it, they, they can photograph it. Um, I think the NFC is a little bit neater. It's a little bit easier. Um, but if you have any questions about this or you want to know more information, um, go ahead and uh, leave a comment or ask a question. Um, the main benefits of this are that one, it's greener. Two, people aren't going to lose your information. They're going to have it forever. If they agree to take your business card from you, it's you've put it in their phone. Um, and then four, if you or, or three, yeah, you if you want to do some more kind of fancy information, um, analytic analyzing of of who's doing what, you can. Um, it, the vcard.link website is pretty plain. Um, that's definitely fine for me because I just want people to have my information. But if you wanted to program on your website a big splashy hello, welcome to uh, you know media whatever. Um, you could do that, and that would be the link that you're giving people. Um, I, like I said, I'm a therapist. All I want to do is make sure that people have my information for safety and convenience. Um, so I hope that was helpful. Um, again, this is how to program an NFC business card. Um, if you want to buy a card like this, you can get on Etsy, um, or you can order some stickers and stick them on the card yourself. I hope that was helpful, and uh, have a good day. Bye.